100 ewes and 60 lambs were delivered to the south end of the fairgrounds to be part of the sheep shearing competition. Get on your mark, get set, go. The event may look like a contest of speed, but these contestants are judged on more than just the time it takes to shear an animal. This competition actually has six parts. Time score is 20%. Absence of the second cuts in the fleece is 20%. Condition of the fleece, which means they get it all pretty much in one piece, that's 20%. Judging also includes Nick Greiner's responsibility to check for any nicks or cuts on the sheep made during the shearing. Also, the appearance of the shorn sheep is judged. The contest begins with the preliminary heats of the professional shearers. They each shear four ewes, with the top eight finishers competing a bit later in the day for the championship title. They're gonna set it on its rump and start on the belly, shear down and shear the belly wool off and that wool is thrown aside. And that'll be the poorest quality wool, so they want that taken off and separated from the rest of the fleece. And then the rest of it will kind of look like a blanket when they're done. Because we're harvesting a valuable crop and the manner in which we harvest this crop has a direct bearing on the price it's gonna bring. The wool will be sold, and it's sold by the pound. Now this is the amateur class here. Following the preliminaries of the professional sheep shearers was an amateur competition, which was won by Mark DeCook of Sully. I haven't sheared a sheep in about eight or ten years till last night I sheared about five or six to get back in the swing and thought I'd try the competition. What's the hardest part about shearing? Learning how to handle the sheep so they don't get away. You can handle them without little stress on the animal and stress on yourself. Learning to handle the sheep was the same item cited by the junior division winner, Amir Nayeri of Bondurant. Learning the right way it helps. Uh, I used to just kind of throw them down and fight with them, but uh, there's actually a whole stance and you're supposed to go through the positions and to make the wool come off right and uh, so you end up with a nice neat pile in the end instead of having one piece here, one piece there. So when you're shearing a lot of animals, you can grab it, set it off to the side and grab another lamb, um, just keep, keep things moving. It's a job that uh, takes enough training that you don't learn it in one season. Before you get good enough to, to call yourself a shearer, I'd say you've got to shear several hundred or a few thousand races. Finding the best is what the sheep shearing finals is all about. After the judges finished their six-section scoring system, the winner was Douglas Rathke of Hutchinson, Minnesota. These sheep were fast shearing sheep, and I knew that they would go good, so I, what I did is I put a thicker comb on than what I used in the prelims. We had sheep when I was a kid, and then when I graduated my senior year, I started shearing sheep, and then I went overseas to New Zealand to learn the real schooling of it. I actually won this one two years ago. I'll be back. Ha, 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 ha.